Hey guys, today I'm going to go over a little After Effects thing. I found this image on one of my clients' Instagram page and thought it would be kind of cool to create this simple effect. And the idea is just to take something that you already have or just take an image and you can make a video on it. That's kind of interesting to give it a little bit more life. And uh, I went to their Instagram page and they had this video of everyone looking up at the Eclipse and I thought it would be cool, like, why not add an eclipse going on in the sky, even though they probably didn't do a video of it. And if you're wondering, this is my client, Wiss. They're in New Jersey. They do accounting. And the people that work there who are my point people are probably the coolest people on the earth. But, yeah. Um, so to do this effect, I'll just go backwards and I'll erase all this stuff here. It's very easy to do. Um, so I'm going to just get rid of all this. So you can think about, go on your own Instagram page and find an image that you want to do something with. Again, the eclipse is obviously way over, but you know, if you, if the holidays are coming out, you can take an image and add, add some cool stuff to it. And in this sense, I just use the shape tool and, um, a solid and I use position, a mask and transparency. And this was just a screenshot that I brought in. So I'm going to lock that with command L and I'm going to get hit Q and I'm going to get this circle shape right here and I'm going to double click on it. So the center point is right there. I'm going to drop down the contents by hitting the command tilde twice. There we go. And I'm going to bring the size of this down because I want to get that center point to be there. And I'm going to make it white by hitting that. I'm going to move it up to the corner and I'm going to name it sun. Actually, I'm not going to do anything yet. I'm going to duplicate it three times and I'll tell you why. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to close this. So it's not okay. So command D command D the top one. I'm going to hit return and call it masker. Then I'm going to hit command down and hit return. I'm going to call this eclipse, even though it's not really right. And I'm going to name this one sun. Now I'm going to hide the sun. I'm going to create the mask by, so the eclipse, I'm going to make this black and I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to make the masker. Now, to make it mask, you just go to your track mat and you make it alpha masker. If you can't see this, it's probably because one of these is hiding it. So just click these on and you'll see this says your track mat. I'm going to hit alpha mat masker. That means that this top thing, this circle here, is masking out my sun. And hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to lock it with Command L. And now I'm going to just create a simple motion. So Command or Option P. And around this point, I'm going to have it option P. So at this point, it's going to be right where it is. And I want it to stay there. So I'm going to go here and hit option P again, because what it does, it's going to keep that position. And then here, I'm going to hit option P again, and I'm going to move it off. Uh, so we're going to start here. We're going to work backwards. I'm going to move my X to here. And I'm going to go backwards. And I'm going to go all the way to the beginning, and I'm going to take my position and move it off left. Now, if I play it, now I want to turn the sun on because it's not going to show the eclipse unless that's on and hit option uh, or control zero. And now there it is, it stays, and then it's gone. And it's in, and then it's gone. Now, there's a lot of really cool things I could do. I could probably, once it hits this point, I could probably have it have the sun do some crazy blur thing, which I'll do at the end to kind of get more advanced, but for now I want to do this. And I want to give this a little bit more of an ease. I'm going to hit the graph. I'm going to zoom out here. And I'm going to grab these, hit this little thing again, because it brings it right to the screen and hit this. Because what it does is it gives a little bit more life in the movement, as you'll see. So this green just means it's rendering. It's just building this animation. So there it comes in. So I'm going to have it kind of a little bit, give it a little bit of a weird motion where it's going to speed up and then kind of slowly smooth down to come in. So let's say, there we go. And it's gone. So it's like, yeah, that's a little weird. I don't really want to do that. Uh, position. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to bring this back here. I'm going to do that. Let's see how this looks. In and out. Okay, cool. To make it even cooler, I'm going to have it the, the photo black out. So all i got to do is hit Command Y to get a solid and make it black. Hit Return and Return. And it's all the way in the top. I could just drag this above the layer. But since I want you to learn how to do shortcuts, I call them quick keys. That's just my thing. 
I'm going to hit shift command left bracket and command right bracket. It's going to bring it up. But you're like, okay, I can't see the image now. Well, that's fine. Then we'll fix that right now. And we're going to go to the middle, the beginning. We're going to hit option T to give it the opacity there. And we're going to make it zero. We're going to hit K to go to this keyframe because K will go to the next keyframe and J will go back to the previous keyframe. And I'm going to bring up the opacity to like 80. And then I'm going to make it stay at 80 by hitting uh, either this little diamond or, but I want to hit option T and I'm going to hit K and then I'm going to make this zero. Now what it's doing, it's making it look like it's darkening the image and then it's going to, so the image is darkening and then it's coming back to light. It's darkening and coming back to light. So it gives a bit more of an effect. And that, you could just stop right there and that would be it. And that's just a really easy, again, you just use the position, you use a mask and you use the opacity and you can get something that's gonna probably, you know, just get people to hold their attention. Plus you can, if it's a video, you can track views. You can, if someone's staying on something for more than 10 seconds, it can, you can retarget them. But video obviously is more engaging and it doesn't have to be super simple or super uh, hard to do. And that literally did not take me that long to make. Now, if I wanted to make it a little bit more crazy, so at this point you could probably just check out, but at this point here, if I took the sun and maybe I can blur it with a blur effect, that might do something cool. So let's see here, blur. Mm. Let's do maybe radial blur. What would that do to it? Let's see what you would look like. Oh, it looks kind of crappy. I don't want that. Let's do fast blur. And let's see what the blurriness would look like. There we go. Okay, that would look really cool. And what we'll do here is we'll add a keyframe here for the blurriness down here. And we'll make that stay here by hitting this little diamond. Now, and we'll go here. I think around here it'll go away. No, I like here it'll go away. So we'll just make the blurriness go back to zero just to show the sun. And we'll copy that keyframe since it's the little diamond is already copy it. We'll go here and we'll paste it. Now we'll zoom out and let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. That looks like more of a an eclipse happening. Yeah, it's going to go in. So here... Boom, the eclipse, and then it's gone. Boom, and then it's gone. So if you have any questions, just comment below in the group and 